Here's what you need to know. Canadians must show proof of vaccination to get into the United States, which includes the Arrive Can app, but to go back home, they need a negative PCR COVID test. Now that's not covered by insurance in Canada, so travelers will have to cover the cost of that themselves. Canadians can get tested before leaving their home if their visit to the U.S. is under 72 hours long. Now the border closing has had a devastating impact on businesses here in Western New York, as well as the families, right? Separated from loved ones for nearly 20 months. Reporter Ali Tui live at the Peace Bridge now with more on this big, big day. Ali? Well, good evening to you, Jeff. You said it best. This is a day that Canadian citizens have long been waiting for. That is despite that testing roadblock that they'll have to face when they re-enter Canada after their visit. Canadian citizen Lisa May wasted no time we planned when we heard it was making plans to visit the U.S. once she heard it was reopening its land border to fully vaccinated Canadian citizens. May is from the town of Collingwood, Ontario, just north of Toronto. What's it like to, to be back, you know, on U.S. soil? <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's the same. It's... U.S. soil and Canadian soil isn't that different for us. She and some friends made the three and a half hour drive to catch a flight from Buffalo to Florida. We caught up with them at the fashion outlets of Niagara Falls. Uh, we're killing time because we thought we'd have a big lineup at the border and we didn't. Buffalo Congressman Brian Higgins says May's visit is still a step in the right direction despite her travel plans to Florida. They're coming to Buffalo. They're stopping on their way and when they stop they spend. When they spend, they create demand. One major difference between the U.S. and Canada's reopening policy is that Canada still requires proof of a negative PCR test taken within 72 hours, while the U.S. doesn't require proof of a negative COVID-19 test. Higgins says he continues to work with Canadian officials to get that requirement removed. I am convinced that there are people in southern Ontario today that would be making a, a, a cross-border visit to Buffalo if there was not the testing requirement upon re-entry to Canada. Still, we found several cars at the outlets with Ontario plates on Monday. Tourist attractions like the Frank Lloyd Wright Marin House in Buffalo also hope the testing requirement won't have a major impact on Canadian visitors. Martin House Executive Director Mary Roberts says Canadian tourists make up 15 percent of their visitors. And that's a number that's growing and we hope it will grow again now that the border is open. And that anticipated growth could be quite slow. Industry experts say that it could be 2024 before we reach those pre-pandemic tourism levels. We're live in Buffalo this evening. Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.